Good morning, everybody. Happy, happy, happy Thanksgiving. Happy Gobble Gobble Day. Happy Turkey Day, especially to everyone here in the United States who are celebrating Thanksgiving today. We're sending our love and energy to everyone around the world. And uh, we are very thankful to have you all in our lives. And also we are thankful to have our family, to have health, strength, and to have this earth and the trees and the plants and the flowers and the bees and the birds. And we are just thankful for everything. As you're getting on here, shout out where you're tuning in from. And today is Thanksgiving. It's a holiday here in the United States. We're here in Florida, in the Florida Keys, in Key Largo, wanting to wish you a happy, happy Thanksgiving. Very thankful for everything. And as you're getting on here, shout out where you're tuning in from. I love when you're shouting out which country, which village, which town you're tuning in from. And um, also leave a comment, let us know what you are making for Thanksgiving today or what you're making for lunch or dinner or breakfast today. Good morning, good evening, good night to everyone around the world. So let's start this. Uh, what I, I finished my, um, my turkey pepper pot. I wanted to make a few different things for you guys. So I make turkey pepper pot. So uh, I wanna show you it's finished and about to do some bread and do some pumpkin pie. Uh, green bean casserole and uh, so check us out guys uh, we have the turkey ready to bake also I'm starting a little early so we can get the rest of the day to um, look at all you guys' pictures so send me pictures of your meals send me pictures of where you're going on this beautiful holiday weekend or week um, many people are in the air and so on right now so sending our blessings many people are actually on the roads so or sending our blessings for safe travel safe travels all right, Tommy. We have Angela from France checking in with us right now on this okay. Thanksgiving day. Say happy Thanksgiving. Happy Thanksgiving. And happy Thanksgiving. <laughs> <laughs> it's a beautiful Thanksgiving. We give thanks all around the world, but thank you for being here with us on our Thanksgiving. How about there, buddy? How are you doing? Hello, everybody. Hello, hello. Happy Thanksgiving. Happy Thanksgiving. We have turkey pepper pot. And I'm making stuffing. John is making a special stuffing here. So just show me some Thyme, of the... parsley rosemary oregano some butter stallions shallot celery yellow carrot and onion and then raw i believe this is rye wheat bread with that i toasted into croutons oh nice and then, and then the special sauce is from the turkey that we actually turkey neck stock st um stock it's all fresh made and it's so delicious and i literally put like everything in the pantry and it so it tastes great <laughs> so guys this is it we have our turkey our turkey um pepper pot guys it's so yummy it's finished so i'll be taking it off and i'll put the finishing touches so this has been cooking very slow all night and um, I just put it up a little bit there because uh, just to actually it took it on so I'll put some fresh thyme in there and also some some of this delicious um, lemon peel orange or orange peel so we'll take this off guys look at that pepper pot and then oh man I'll put that off there oh man we're gonna lose it Look how good that's looking. And again, this is turkey pepper pot. You have to try it. You have to try it and let me know how it turned out, okay? Put some thyme, some fresh thyme, just to give it the, um, the freshness. But look, you, look, you see, I use the back and the leg and the thigh and the wing of the turkey. And you will think that the turkey, you will think that the turkey actually will be dry, but it's not. It's not the skin protects it. We put a little butter in there too to give it a little thick texture. And also we put a little bit of flour, some parched flour to thicken the gravy a little bit. But look at this guys. Because since we are just using turkey, look how good that's look, huh? Wow, wow. So let me show you the rest of this stuff that we have around here. Uh, I need uh, some more water, I mean, think Oh, I have, I have guests coming. 
My pot is falling down. I have guests coming. When your pot spoon and everything start to fall down. That's every day. Mm -hmm. Okay, so Tommy's going to grab me. Uh, let me show you. This is the pie crust that I'm using. I put a little bit of holes in here with a fork. Just that um, it doesn't bubble up. So I'm going to put this a little bit on the grill first. Let it cook for um, just for a minute, uh, couple minutes. Uh, let's set up. You get set. Huh? Smoky flavor. Yes, to get that nice smoky flavor. But look at my bread, though. This is some dumpling bread that we are cooking. Oh, jeez, oh, jeez. Dumpling bread, guys. Dumpling bread. Um, it's so delicious. I have the recipe. And it's Sandy special bread. I actually um, started this when David been here, was here. And it hits everybody. Love the bread. When I was in Trinidad, I was featured twice um, by uh, um, Stacy's Kitchen on her TV show making the dumpling bread for Thanksgiving and also um, uh, for another event. So this is a... Uh, Dumpling bread is with nice green with nice green seasoning with coconut milk. Coconut milk, a little bit of sugar. Just you you just take your regular dough that you make your bread with, but add coconut milk to it, add a little bit of sugar and also add green seasoning, your seasoning of your choice. So we're making a little plat bread right now. Uh, let me show you we're doing pumpkin pie but we're doing pumpkin pie from scratch uh, with real pumpkin and we are also doing um, some green bean casserole so this is a couple favorites here in the United States oh, I don't know if that's too loud uh, is it in the way uh, oh, let me show you the turkey. Let me show you the turkey. Happy Gobble Gobble Day. Happy Thanksgiving, everyone. Happy Thanksgiving to throughout the world. We are very thankful for everything. We are thankful to having you. And let me know in the comment one thing that you're thankful for. I'm thankful for life. I'm thankful for Tommy. I'm thankful for John. I'm thankful for the rest of my family. I'm thankful for everyone i'm like i said i'm thankful for the trees the plants the fruits the ability that we have uh so guys this is a turkey i also will be cooking this outside on the grill and this is just the breast of the turkey we are using other parts of the turkey to do that's what i use the other parts like a leg and thigh part of the back and the wing to use for the pepper pot so i still have another set of turkey for curries later all right guys so check out this plat bread you need stacy here to erase you i know i know i miss my friend stacy who we did this together with and this is so delicious guys try it this way um try it with the seasoning you know just like how you do your bacon swan just put it into a bread I know in Guyana they put another little strip on the middle of it. I will try it that way. Normally I don't try it that way, but this time I will try it and put that little strip to hold it together. And this bread will be so delicious. This is our breakfast right now. And we stay in a little bit late um, this morning. I wanted to get up very early to do this, but we weren't very hungry. You said earlier you wanted everybody to tell you what they were thankful for. Yeah, tell me, everybody, tell me what you're thankful for. Tell me, what are you thankful for? I'm thankful for every morning. Every morning. Every morning we wake up and start a new day together and strong. And that we're around other people that are supporting us right. in our days. Exactly, exactly. Uh, it's the energy I'm thankful for because that energy just makes everything go so well. We have such great people in our lives and fans and friends like you all. That are so supportive and everything, and we support everybody also. Guys, so I'm gonna take this one out. 
And again, let me know in the comments what you're thankful for. So I just want to do it like halfway. So that's perfect. Um, put this there. And again, let me show you the pepper pot who is coming on. Hello, happy Thanksgiving. This is the turkey pepper pot. Look at that. Look how good that's looking, guys. See that? Turkey pepper pot. Uh, put a nice pepper in there from the garden, actually. So good this is looking. It's all tender. And it's not... What's that? Um, this is cinnamon. Oh. And it's not... Um, look, it's not tough at all. Look. Look how nice and jelly, jelly it looks. You see? Isn't that great? Awesome. It's because how I cook it, too. I cook it on a slow heat so I didn't rush the process. And I cook it all night. I left it with coals all night in the oven. So what else we can put in there, Tommy? We're going to lose, lose the coals. And you, here, Tommy. You I tell them last night you used up garlic. You used all your eggplants. You put onions. You I know, <laughs> I know. Here, we need to put some coals in there. So let me... Um, let me grab a piece of wood from the bench. Uh, a little tiny one. Yeah, yeah. But I still need some coals. Okay. Um, for the baking. So Tommy's going to help me and put some coals in there. I actually had all the coals already, but um, I forgot how things take time to prepare. So I lost all the coals. But for my green beans, I'm actually using fresh green beans. So I'll show you how I cut it up. You can also use bora bean for this or the bodhi if you want to try this recipe. I have um, cream of mushroom with some mushrooms in there. I also have some fried crispy onions. And what I also have, I smoked. That's, I smoked some onions, see? So I'll put up some of that in there. And I also smoked like, overnight some garlic. So I have all this stuff to put in there. It's going to be so good. It's going to taste smokiness and, the, and wood flavor, you know, like if you cook it on the fireside. And like I said, uh, for my pumpkin pie, I'm using real pumpkin. And this is pumpkin, the whole pumpkin we bought. And believe it or not, I'll be both putting some marshmallows. Um, and these are all the ingredients I'll be using for pumpkin pie. Over here, uh, I'm also going to be making some fresh cranberry sauce to go with our turkey. Fresh cranberry sauce. And check out my bread, guys. Check out this bread. My special um, blend of, of dumpling bread. This is my special blend of bread. And look how good it's look. I'll be making a few more in a minute. I got a fire going. I just put some coals in there. There's pieces of wood also in there uh, to give the food a uh, nice, nice um, flavor. Here, Tommy, here, gr gr put one of the pieces of wood in there. But we are so very thankful for this beautiful weather here in South Florida. Um, again, shout out where you're tuning in from. And let me know what time it's in your country and what the temperature is, if you do know. I know many of our friends up north are going through some cold weather right now. So I'm sending some love and sunshine and blessings to you and hugs and hugs and hugs to you. Happy Thanksgiving, happy Thanksgiving to everyone around the world, everyone around the world, even though it's an American holiday. But Thanksgiving is about not just one day of year, it's every day. Every morning you wake up, be thankful for the simple thing that you're waking up, you have your legs and, and your feet and you can talk. And all those simple things, the simplest thing we are thankful for, that's what makes makes it so much better you know makes your blood pressure go down make you less diseased and things like that because you're a happy person when you're thankful for the littlest things here you go okay Tommy let's set up everything so while our um let's set up everything while this is going on here I just want it to um, burn out a little bit and then we'll um, bake everything in there. We're baking the bread, we're baking the casserole, and we're baking a pumpkin pie all outside on the grill, okay, on the grill. You don't have to do this. I know not very many people have grills and can do, have this ability, but you can do it in the oven. But since we have the grill and it's a nice day, in the, a nice evening, we'll be doing it outside. Show them your Thanksgiving cup. Johnny got you a steak. 
Oh, to John and Tommy have me got me a Thanksgiving cup. What is this? Be brave, be bold. That's it. Awesome. Be that brave, cheetah? be bold. It's yeah. a cheetah. That's Sandy. Mm. She's a cheetah. Yeah. That's a These are some of the hibiscus that we uh, bought for up here. Something more that can handle the sun, hopefully. So there's a lot of buds coming up. So check out this pink one. And how beautiful these guys are. They're so happy for some sunshine. Oh man, Tommy, we forgot to close up the, the stove last night. We forgot to close up the stove. <laughs> All right. I think that's a remix. No. That's okay, I guess. Um, all right. Let's mix up everything, Tommy, so that the, the grill is here. And again, let us know what you are making for your Thanksgiving meal if you're here in the United States. And uh, John is going to make the stuffing. He's making it from scratch from actually the um, making um, chicken broth from the neck and making some amazing stuffings okay Tommy that song makes you want to dance Those are not the... can you put the pepper okay so we have this one bread I was wanting to put it on the grill want to get a piece of aluminum um, no but I will just put it on here So we'll do one more to put in here, and you can make a uh, you can make little rolls and all that stuff. I'll be making some tennis rolls too, some <laughs> dumpling bread tennis roll. So I'm making one more to put on the grill, and then we'll um, go do our other stuff here, guys. And you can use, oh my gosh, I, I love this bread. I love this bread. It's one of my favorite invention of food. <laughs> I, I, I really like the combination of it. Let me know how you like to make your bread. And let me know if you will try this recipe, okay? So remind them again what you put in it. Uh, this one. And, and this is my dumpling bread. It's made with coconut milk, uh, yeast, sugar, garden fresh seasoning, some nice hot pepper and um, a little bit of sugar. Just like you make your bread, just like your normal bread recipe you use. Look at this guys and then I'll try to make I'll make a little bit a couple rolls. Actually I will need another a nice little rolls. I will have to put them in. I'll put them in. Oh, uh, maybe one of those little wrong baking dishes, Tommy, cake dishes. Um, so we can rise too. The same dough you can do this with. It would make your rolls. You know what I mean, Tommy, then? Yeah, yeah, the metal big pad. Yeah, yeah, I'm going to just rest them here for now until we get our metal pan. Oh, Tommy, let me rock again, you know? 
Or as young Johnny. Bring me the, Johnny. Bring me the middle wrong um the metal wrong pan that you bake in. It's such a nice day. No, the ram no, pan. no, the wrong pan that you cook like this. Okay, while John is getting that, guys, so I'll put this on the side to bake. I can put a little crisscross on it, but right now we'll just do it like this for like a. I'll just leave that one in there. Okay, and uh, some butter. Oh, we don't have it. Okay, guys, so I'm going to do now, I'm going to put it in the oven. I know we got to sit a little bit. Actually, let's sit a little bit, and then we'll put it in the oven there, in the grill. So let's do our pumpkin pie. We're doing our pumpkin pie right now. So I, uh, this is fresh pumpkin. Fresh pumpkin that I actually boiled and mashed up, and I boiled it with some cinnamon sticks and some clove. Thank you, buddy. Good job. Good job. This is exactly what I want. John says, Phew. Okay, so I'll just put this in here to start rise up. And uh, we have a little bit, some of our rolls here. So everybody, everybody need to sit a little bit. So I'll just let this sit. So bread is ready. Okay, so I have my pumpkin all mashed up, and I don't like my pumpkin too, too fine, too pureed. So um, now what we're gonna do? Put some eggs in there, and we'll just put two big eggs. Actually, we'll put three of them. The eggs is there to hold everything together. Okay, welcome everybody. Tell me what you're doing, what you're doing for this beautiful Thanksgiving. Check out this turkey. Check out that turkey there. That's also the go last thing on the grill, but it's there all marinating overnight. Put on the light. Oh, it's on. <laughs> the it out there, yeah. Okay, so guys, look. So I have my eggs. You want to mix in your eggs in here? I know to um, you put sugar. Remember the pumpkin? This is not a canned pumpkin. If you, you can also use canned pumpkin. And if you use canned pumpkin, uh, you want to put less sugar because the canned pumpkin is much sweeter. So I'm using um, real pumpkin. So I'm putting a little bit extra sugar. And still it's not going to be sweet because I don't like things sweet. I like things more natural and that's why I put extra cinnamon in it. Cinnamon is a natural sweetener also. So we have, um, and these here, look. This is ground cinnamon, ginger, and nutmeg. So I'll put some in here. I'll mix this up. Mix this up. Okay, so I'm gonna put some in here, guys. I like extra the spices, ground spices in. Mix, 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 mix. And we have some carnation milk. So we put a little bit of milk in here. Okay. 
you mix it in really good guys really really good I'll put a little bit extra spice I love it and I know this is not your typical um, pumpkin pie because what I'll be using I'm using some pecan nuts in it too because I love nuts the only way for me to really enjoy this is having nuts in it so I'll be putting this is some toasted pecan nuts I'll be putting some in there and also some in the top and you can taste it if it need more uh, sugar mm, so good so good wow so good but I put extra spice I want to taste the nutmeg I want to taste the cinnamon I want to taste the ginger when it's finished cooking and just a little bit more sugar I will actually tell you the exact recipe and write it up on YouTube thank you guys Look how nice the bread is looking. And again, a big shout out to Shamiza from Get Real with Shamiza and Sonia and also Ash. We had an amazing time last night. I think George was her co-host there too, Shamiza's co-host. This is what that was the first time. I was nervous. But I turned that nervous into excitement and I really had a great time with them. I really had a great time. My dress could barely fit again, guys. I put on weight after Trinidad again. So I got a lot of working out to do. <laughs> okay, so look, um light. So now I'm gonna put this in here. And if you get extra, that's okay. I'm gonna actually bake the extra in another dish. So I put my pumpkin pies and things in there and this is some this is some marshmallows I'll be putting in there. Yeah, they condensed milk mama or sugar. Sugar. Okay. I'm putting some some of this in here and that's because I like it like this. I feel like a little kid and I'm also put extra nuts. I love a lot of pecans. Since I'm making sweets, I'm trying to stay away from sweets. But since I'm making it, I want to make it with something that I can eat it also. And this is how I like it. So if you try this, try it for the kids. If you have kids and so on, man, they're going to have fun doing this together. So I cut the marshmallows because I didn't have any small ones. Yeah, yeah. Okay. And then put some more nuts in there. And I will actually put this in the oven now. I'll put this in here. Oops, oops. Um, maybe I should take out. Take out a big fire. Yeah. Here, I'm gonna take this back out and take out a big fire. Here. Okay. Just put it on the table or so then. Take out the big fire and, uh, or spread out the big fire. No, take out the wood, take out the wood. We're gonna reuse the fire and put it at the bottom right there. Right there in it, yeah. Spread this out a little bit. Guys, we'll spread this out a little bit. Teamwork. And then we we'll put back this. Uh, Oops. Please. Okay. Hey, say hello, everybody. All right, guys. Oops. Sorry, sorry. We're handing back everything here and there. So let me know what you think about this. This um. This um. This pepper pot. Uh, Turkey pepper pot, let me know, let me know. It's much cooler out here. Woo! <laughs> it's getting warm quick, it's getting warm quick. So let me know what you actually, uh, what you think about the turkey pepper pot, okay? So I'm making this dumpling bread to go with it. And I'm going to put the pumpkin um, pie 
thingy is ready so I'll bake that in there and um, last thing I'll be doing is putting the turkey to cook and let me show you the turkey guys look at this turkey look how good and delicious this is looking it's just a turkey breast and then I'll be making some fresh um, cranberry sauce all that good stuff everything from fresh and also with a little bit of twist but check out this dumpling bread look how good that's looking so nice it's rising and this is for our pepper pot and I also have some tennis rolls there is it on the side? yeah so Tommy's gonna put this on here Did, does it look like it's leaning? Here, set it down more where it's yeah. not going to. Because I'll need place to put the bread. Okay. Okay. I don't know if this is going to fit there. Oh, jeez. Not good. Okay. We may have to cook that in the oven inside. Or with not yet. No, do not. Here, right here. Yeah. No, you see. Here, please. I gotta cover it, you know. Uh -oh, this is not gonna work. Set it up on the rack. Huh? But then you're gonna be mashing right. that. Yeah, you gotta take out one. If we put this here, this will go that way. Here. Alright, alright, guys. We're gonna might have to take out the bread and put it. We'll take the, um, we'll bake, take out the other thing, Tommy, and we'll bake it in the oven and bake the bread out here. Two of them can't fit on one thing. We'll start it in the oven, then we'll finish it out out here. Uh, can you take that inside and ask Johnny to put it on 350? Mmm. Man, I wish you were here to smell everything around here. I know this is um, our green beans. We'll be, we'll be doing our green beans here. And again, let me know in the comments what you guys are planning to do. You put it on three. Yeah. Johnny put it on 400 to start it. And then we'll hit it back on 375 when we put it in. Okay. Here you go, Tom. One. No, please. Ah, oh, yeah, yeah. Let let get to room temperature. So they're just put on um, getting the, the the oven in there ready for us for the other dishes. Okay, here we go, Tommy. Art, you put it in. Hold it on the side. So we'll put the bread in here. Check out that bread. Uh, uh, can this fit in there too? I don't think it can. No, no. Okay, just put it in the middle properly. In the middle. There you go, yeah. So we're going to cover this bread down here and let it bake. We'll let that cook in there. Actually, I wonder if we can put this on top. Um, I need a little scissors like this. Um. Is there a way we can put this in there? I have that rack that John just had to get set on top of that. Ah. Uh, no. No. Gayatri said you looked gorgeous last night. Loved your house. Oh gosh. <laughs> Thank you guys. Here I'm gonna give this a little slit. I need the, um, the, the, um, scissor? Yeah. Okay. A scissor, so give it a little slit to... <laughs> Sorry guys, the phone just dropped. Hey, this is a live show. I need to actually get a stand and leave the phone there. But then you can't see things on close-up. So the next thing, again, um, everybody check it out last night. I um, put this turkey together and this is the turkey breast and what it has in it is uh, some pineapple, 
and it has um, nice vegetables around, some um, um, apples, all that good stuff uh, to bake in there, you know. Here, I just want to do this like. Just a escape the ear. So this is ready to bake. And uh, how much minutes we put this in there for? So it's been three now. Okay, let's just wait a little bit. So all this gotta bake inside. But so let's uh, fix up the green beans. So this is our green beans here. And I'm using fresh green beans. You can also use a can. And for this recipe, you can also use um, bora bean or the bodhi if you don't have the green bean. So I, all I did is young green bean. I cut them into little pieces like this. I actually um, take out all the heads and stuff like that. So they're, they're young enough that you don't need to um, string them. They're very young, young bean. Okay? So we're going to be using that and um, we'll put a little bit of pepper sauce to give it a little flavor. So a little pepper sauce to mix it in. This is a roasted pepper. And this is some cream of mushroom and this has mushroom and the cream and this is a regular canned cream of mushroom that I bought. You mix that in uh, what I'm gonna be putting in some salt to taste and this is some Himalaya salt this is so quick to do guys so so quick and it tastes delicious I'm also put some black pepper in here these are some I love this you can put this on top I also like to to crunch some and put them in inside this is the crispy onion, the crispy fried onions. It just enhances the taste of um, the green bean casserole. This is a green bean casserole. And what I have over here, guys, I don't know if you can see. But this is some roasted, this is some roasted garlic, and I did this so that I can put some in the green bean casserole, and it will taste so good, because I let this onion and this garlic to roast overnight on the wood. Okay, let me check on our bread. Here, let me... Make sure it's born at the bottom. Oops. Where is the thing that John had? I will lift it up. You know me? I'm go, go in there with that. Put it on you or something. And, um, oh my God. Uh, get you on the thing. So hey, Johnny, grab me the round rack. What? The one I showed you? Yeah. I'm going to take off the rubber bits. Are those heat resistant? Mm -hmm. No. So, you want a spatula? Oh, yes. Guys, it's um, the we, he, metal spatula. Please keep for on your phone. Um, the the heat was a little too high for it, so it's a little bore, um like it's getting browner at the bottom, which is okay. Um, I'm gonna put uh, something and make it a little higher. Um, here I need butter. Put some butter on top here. I don't have a, a brush here with me. They're all in Jupiter. Plus 
No, I need a small one, Johnny. Made out of metal, right? Okay, or the plastic. The plastic. The hard okay. stiff Okay, so I put some butter on this. And now what I'm going to do, oh, what I put this on. Yeah, so we'll go over the pan. Yeah, let me help mom, Jen. So what she's going to do is going to... I know the bottom started to brown up first. It's actually half cooked already. So this is live show, guys. Let me take it in the kitchen here real quick. Please don't somewhere else. Let me take it in the kitchen real quick first. Here, we'll just. Mm -hmm. No, the ba the top needs to bake. Ah, uh, here. You want to take it in the oven inside? Yeah. And put it on broiler and watch it. Okay. That's yeah. not going to work. How this is going to work in here? Uh, it won't because you need to have a pan to keep it raised up underneath it to elevate it. There you go. Here, let, we'll, we'll put this in here for a little bit. Here, I want to put those on top of here. You can, Tommy. It's going to go down here. No, if you set the pan, put, the, put these on top of this and then put the pan. What pan? Hey Johnny, give me another round pan. All right, guys. <laughs> Bring me one more round big cake pan. Guys, let me go inside and check on this. Um, the baking. Yeah, there. Say, so want to put it on like this? So what we're probably gonna do is elevate it. The coals got a little bit too hot too fast. Usually we put it on there. This grill cooks exceptionally hot. Our little one at home does not have a heat conductor like this one. So this new Weber one we got just contains the heat so well. So she's checking what's going on inside. So life here in the Florida Keys. Hey everybody, happy Thanksgiving. All right, nothing like real live shows. So she's trying to figure out, not figure out, get something so we can modify the bread baking over here. We usually do them in the Jupiter house and she's done cakes. We do all our cakes and stuff on the fire outside too. Did you put it to see if you're gonna do it? Yes, it's I not did. Not pork either. That's too small. See? See? Okay. I'm gonna put that on top. But then now, it's gonna... okay. So we'll put this on. There you go. So it's not sitting directly on the heat, and um. This will bake better. The other one is baking perfectly. It's only like um, it's born, it's brown fast at the bottom because I should have it elevated like this. But I need the other thing to bake. Is it the other thing, Tommy? The pie. Uh, I'll get the pie. Can it fit in here? Sure. You sure? Because we, we might have the same issue with cooking too no, fast. No, no, no. We'll put a pie. We'll put a pie on. So we'll put a pie on here while the cake is, um, the bread is baking inside. But it still have all that um, amazing smell of the smoke and the fire. It's just, um, it was still a little bit too much heat for the bottom, which is fine, which is fine, okay? This is a live show. So Tommy's going to put the apple pie now in here. Or, or we could call it a pumpkin pie. Or, I mean, pumpkin <laughs> pie, pumpkin pie. Okay, so let's close this up. Okay. And then we'll do the other dish. Let's finish up this Want green bean. Um, no. no, no. It's not that much heat in there. And uh, let's do the other. Did you close up the bottom though? Yes. Actually, I think you did Good for day. me. All right, guys. So let's finish up this. Uh, like I was saying over here, I have some roasted onions. And when you're cooking on the grill and you have some extra onions and garlic, put it put it on the grill. It, it tastes so much different in your meals. And you can still use it for your meals, so you know. So I'm cutting some of this really skinny. And then I'll put it also in the, in the bean casserole. So I'm putting some... I'm also going to put some red onions. This will just enhance the, the flavor and you can taste the wood, you can taste the fireside. 
and every dish I made today will be tasting like the fireside, even if I cook it inside or outside. Because of all these little things. But look at the purple onions, guys. And then I have these um, delicious, look at these. Smells so good. This is the roasted garlic, too. I'm going to just cut those into little pieces. Alright, so let's put these in. And then we'll mix up everything. So we'll mix this all in here. It has salt, pepper, everything in there already. Mix it terrible, uh, really good together. Mix in all the pepper, the garlic, the onions. open the door a little bit and remind you on to check on the bread. Danny, can you check the bread? Look how good this is looking. So this is all it needs. Bread has about seven more minutes. Okay. Put a little bit of butter in there. It's really hot, so my butter is melting. And now we're gonna put um, some of this crispy onions. And this is the best part of this delicious green bean casserole for Thanksgiving. This is really, truly a traditional way. I just, uh, I did a little twist by putting those roasted onion, garlic, and also some hot pepper. Okay. Let's check on these guys. So what I'm going to do with that now is just put a file wrap on it and put it in the oven also. But look how these guys are looking over here. I'll also put a little bit of butter on this a little bit later. So the, the uh, so this is ready guys. And so what I'm gonna do now, I'm gonna clean up. I have my casserole going. I'll just have to put it in the oven. And um, actually let's put it in the oven over here. Um get hey, bread in there. Oh, I have the bread, which is only going to take a little bit. Let me show you the bread, and we'll say goodbye, and we'll come back when we get cleaned up to put the other set in. But let me show you one more time, guys. This is all cooking here cooking nicely. Here. This is the pumpkin and um, pumpkin pie, homemade pumpkin pie, and our little breads here. It's raising nicely. I'll put a little butter on that to brown up the bread a little bit more. But let me show you. Oh. On the inside. Huh? It's still doughy on the inside. I know it's not ready. It takes about 20 minutes or so to bake after you put it like for 375 degrees. Oh, I'll turn it down then. Yeah. And uh, let me just show you guys and then we'll come back on and show you our next step that we are taking. Well, let me show you. And John, you're going to make up your rest of stuff too, right? You guys, yep. look at that. Looking good, right? Looking good. All right. Do you want to put the, um, the pie in here while it's properly preheated? Uh, no, put the pie out there. The pie will be good out there. Uh, Tom, you can bring the other thing here too. You sure? Yes. Okay. Uh, you can bring the casserole here, Tommy. We'll put in the casserole. We have room in the oven here. So I'll put the casserole in here also. 
We just gotta put um put some file wrap on it and then we'll put the casserole in here. Again, thank you so much for being part of us. Um, let us know what you are cooking, what you are cooking for Thanksgiving meal today. Good morning, good evening, good night, and thankful for everyone around the world. And uh, let me know what you're making. Send me pictures or videos. And uh, stay amazing. We'll get cleaned up a little bit and get our next set ready. Love you guys. Say bye, Jenny. Bye.